Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 20th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, we do have some very big flare players turning in as we have three sun named sunspot regions, and they are cresting on the left hand side. And as you can see, the rest of the sun, we've got lots of plasma filaments that have been dancing around the surface, lifting away and slapping back into our sun. Amazing images here. Look at these big sunspot players. Most likely we'll see some large solar flares from these sunspots as they turn for an earth facing event over the next four or five days. Looking at outgoing here. Lots of plasma dancing around. Having a look at multi-spectrum showing the biggest events the last 48 hours. And as well, big plasma filament in the northwest region. And then notable, each corner, plasma filaments and coronal holes. 171 angstroms here. This is where we can see our heliosphere in action which is pretty much our sun's magnetosphere or not magnetosphere, but it's magnetic field and as well the fields amongst the sunspot regions. There are three right now. Having a closer look at those fiery sunspot regions turning in. A different look here. Lots of flashes. And here, lots of dark spots turning in. All these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected. And our solar winds are coming in at three, 295 kilometers per second right now. Space weather overview here, solar x-ray flux remains in a C range after firing a minor M-class solar flare today and quite a few C-class solar flares. So solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated, but not too much to talk about at a KP2. ISWA space prediction spiral showing yesterday's CME taking off, going towards Venus. Nothing has changed since yesterday. LASCO 2 showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energy leaving our sun. Big CME blast there in the southern hemisphere and as well in the north. And then another little blast there from the sunspot regions that are turning in on the left hand side. And we've seen lots of, well, evidence of multiple eruptions on the back side of the sun. So these are the players that have been producing all the activity. Multiple CMEs that were taking off towards Mars and Mercury as it was spinning around. That's the last few images here. Lasco 3 showing most recent CME. Now let's get to earthquakes last 24 hours. As we're up over 200 earthquakes now in a 24-hour period. Notable here, 5.1 Tonga region, 240 kilometer depth. As well, 5.2 here in Mabini, Philippines. And as well, another one southward, 5.2. So activity across the Philippines plate. Pipe 5.8 there, downgraded apparently from the 6.0 yesterday. Minor seismicity building through Alaska. And notable earthquake here, Ferndale, California, reporting a 4.4 magnitude earthquake this morning. And as well, 3.3 largest across Hawaiian state and fern forest. Notable earthquake here, 4.9 earthquake at the Valley, Anguilla, subduction zone, Caribbean plate, and slight unrest, Peru and southward through Chile. 4.9 earthquake here in Bluff, New Zealand, offshore. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Oh, no, we cannot forget the Arabian plate. We did have a 4.6 here reported in Iran. Another 4.6 southward towards the Arabian plate. 
notable activity through Turkey and a 4.8 earthquake here. Italy, 410 kilometer depth though. Very deep earthquake and north of Etna and west of Stromboli. So we've seen multiple eruptions at Etna the last little bit. Maybe Stromboli is next. So heads up my Italian friends and family. If I have any watching, if you do, let me know in the comment section. Having a look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Largest being the 6.7 that rang out in the Philippines. The last 24 hours was the 6.0 in Japan. Deepest earthquake, 616 kilometer depth yesterday. Marianas Trench, notable activity moving northward up into the Cascades. And a little too quiet for the Fiji region right now, expecting something to come. Deep earthquakes, large shallow earthquakes on their way. Heads up. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got an extreme weather event that is breaking out across Texas state and all Gulf states tonight. Already seeing lots of tornado warnings. Lake Charles, Louisiana, Shreveport, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi. And this is all going to move eastward. So heads up, my American friends, extreme weather is on your doorstep and roaring eastward. We've got Semeru in Indonesia, Santa Maria in Guatemala, Fuego, Guatemala, Reventador in Ecuador, Marapi, Mayan in the Philippines, Popocatito in Mexico, as well as Sabancaya in Peru. Uluwan, Papua New Guinea, that is a new one, just awakened 17 hours ago, as well as Nevada's to Ruiz, Colombia, Aaron, Japan, Sangay in Ecuador, Dekono in Indonesia, so that's a lot of volcanoes getting updated today, and one of them awakening Uluwan in the Philippines. Having a look here, there's that big system sweeping across the United States, and that is set to affect Ontario and parts of eastern Canada. And this forecast coming up. Lots of moisture flying around the continent of Australia. Multiple lows trapped there. The big squeeze is on, and there's a big low-pressure system here wrapped with a lot of snow heading towards the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. Not much has changed since these forecasts. Looking across Africa, intense intensification of extreme weather. Torrential downpours, West Africa and as well central regions. Towards both erupting volcanoes. Near Miragira, near Miragongo. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Windy.com. Showing low pressure center here, affecting Ontario, Tuesday into Wednesday. And then cold temperatures move in on the backside. Big cold high pressure ridge moves in and another one locks in behind it. Alberta Clipper forms for the end of the month. And then watch for multiple lows here and cold temperatures for most of the nation through North America. As, yeah, it will be December and we should be very cold. Having a look here over Europe and Africa. Strong low moving out of eastern Turkey into Russia. 25th to 27th, got a big strong low moving into the Mediterranean. And then another one moving in after that. And a strong system developing in the North Atlantic. Overlooking the North Pacific. Still have strong Windy lows affecting Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. Watch for heavy snow, extreme winds. Long range forecast showing more systems heading your way. Overlooking the Southern Hemisphere through Australia and South Africa. We've got some very big, vigorous, low pressure systems developing here south of Africa and as well those low pressure systems 
Still, getting trapped over Australia. Watch for multiple days of daily evaporation rains and extreme weather. Lightning strikes. Heads up. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.